using the Bluetooth thing to turn it on. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I know, you didn't know about that? I did, I just didn't explain it to you. Ice cream lovers, welcome. Steve Christensen's my name from the Scoop School facility here in St. Louis, Missouri. We're on a Scoop School field trip. We know how much you love the field trip. Anyway, we find ourselves in front of Andy's Frozen Custard here in Ellisville, Missouri. And before we start jumping into that, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Eddie Kahina and the whole crew at Meadowvale. Meadowvale Inc. Now, Meadowvale makes frozen custard mix, soft serve mix, premium ice cream mix. They actually do a very well and highly respected non-dairy mix as well. The link is down below. Talk to Eddie, nicest guy in the industry. Ask him about distribution and how you can maybe sample some of their mixes. You won't regret the chit chat. Link is down below. Thank you very much for your episode sponsorship. Now we talk all the time about the theater of ice cream. You want to have your customers see what's going on. There's nothing worse than maybe, you know, ordering a banana split and then someone goes behind a wall and then comes back with a beautiful banana split and you've really missed an opportunity to be able to show this process. Subway do it so well when they start with the buns and they basically take you down on a sandwich journey until they have to pay at the end. Well, Andy's Frozen Custard, who are, again, here in Ellisville, they have store design down to an art. Now, most of the Andy's, if not all, are all walk-up locations. You don't actually get to go in the store, but the stores are designed so it's basically a fishbowl. So whether you're going through the drive-through or whether you're walking up, you can literally see frozen custard cascading down the slides on their frozen custard machines. You can see products being made, shakes being churned, and it really is a testament to Andy and his crew who really value the fact that Yes, the customers can't come into the store, but they can still have an immersive experience by looking at what's happening in the store. So as you're looking at store design and what the customers can see, what they can't see, uh, you need to consider that the more immersive, the more people can enjoy the theater of ice cream, the more immersive and the more memorable their experiences are. Now, the downside is that sometimes making ice cream, some types of ice cream can be pretty messy. So you don't want people to see the entire back of the house. Hey, curse you. You'd also don't want them to see what vanilla you're using, what flavor profiles you're using, even what mix you're using. So keep that in mind. But uh, look, I'm gonna give Andy and the crew two thumbs up for building design because again, we're here in the afternoon and as you can see, it's really easy to kind of see in, watch the production schedule. At night, they've got this really cool neon that basically announces the custard is churning fresh. And this place stands out like a light bulb down here on uh, Manchester Road. Look, give that some consideration. Always consider the theater of ice cream when you're designing your store. Even a redesign, allowing customers to kind of see the process, see behind the curtain, if you will. You will always get a much better engagement when customers can see that and experience it. Again, thank you very much to uh, the crew at Meadowvale for their episode sponsorship. And look, if you have a question, comment, conundrum, if you want us to take another field trip, we're happy to do it for you. Uh, leave a comment down below, keep on scooping, and we'll see you in the next video.